Hello and back to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the after match reaction from Slovakia Nil, Republic of Ireland Nil, Slovakia obviously winning on penalties, um, which is very, very disappointing. Um, you just know now that everybody's going to be on the Kenny out brigade, even though I felt throughout the game, um, I thought we were very good. I thought if I'm looking around in terms of players playing badly, I didn't think anyone played really really badly i think if you were to pick out one player that probably didn't have his best game it was probably connor howerton but everybody else in my opinion i thought had a good game um, i thought uh, shane duffy done everything he could at the back and was solid absolutely throughout john egan solid throughout darren randolph you know done well with called upon made a really good save at the end of the first half then you had matt doherty was creating lots of problems down the right hand side for them um coming in and making a lot of chances for us. Then, you kind of look around the midfield. Hendrick had moments where he was really good, and he also had moments where he was really bad. But it was a real, it was more good than bad from him. I think it was his best performance in an Irish shirt for a long time. And then, you had players around the pitch as well. You know, James McCarthy done well before he got injured. He was keeping Hampshire quiet for the majority of the game, especially um, in the 90 minutes before he got injured. But... Then Callum Robinson thought he had a brilliant game. Thought he really linked up well with whatever side he was on. He was on the right-hand side for the first half. The second half, he went on, on the on the left for a bit. And he was kind of making things happen. David McGoldrick was absolutely outstanding. Um, probably just unlucky not to get the goal that he probably his performance deserved. And then James McLean, he was just put in there purely just down to, I would say, his defensive duties as well. And we know that stuff happened between... Uh, or with Aaron Connolly and Adam E, the reasons why they weren't in the squad with the COVID stuff. But, I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better opportunity to go at the Slovaks. But it's just that thing where you can see signs of what Stephen Kenny's working on, uh, working with the players on, is starting to come off. And it was a much better performance from us. I don't care what anyone says. People will look at the scoreline and say we're terrible and say we're this and say we're that. But there was definite signs there that we are improving it under Stephen Kenny's style. We are improving in the way of getting to know each other. And just some of those passes, like I, I recall, Enda Stevens kind of bombing on forward and creating a few chances. Um, and Matt Doherty as well. Ultimately, we're, we are missing that person who's going to stick the ball in the net that plays centrally. Because well, as good as Mick Aldrich is going forward and keeping on the ball and stuff like that, he doesn't score enough goals. So... If we could find someone that could play up front to him, whether it's Aaron Connolly, Adam Eda, Troy Parr, whoever, one of them, or it could be someone else. But there's so much positives to take from the game other than the actual overall result. In terms of how we are gelling as a team, considering we've had so little time to prepare, I thought some of the football we played tonight was brilliant and you could see that in different passages of play that we were having. And I felt as though we were just unlucky not scoring that goal. And in the second half then, you know, they finished the first half quite strong. Um, they forced a good save for Dan Randolph and then they nearly scored for the bicycle kick as well. And then going into the second half then, I thought there was moments where they were on top and moments when we were on top. But I felt as though we were on top a bit more than they were. And we were getting good chances. And Alan Brown, well, Alan Brown hit the post at the extra time. But um, I felt as though as the game went on, we were getting stronger and we just... We always had that chance with Howrahan and maybe if he had a little bit more awareness about him, he maybe could have let that roll onto his left foot. But if you're in the box, you feel like you're going to get no time anyway. So he, he was right, probably, in my opinion, to take it on his right foot. And then there was just there was other chances then as well. Adam Brown had a chance that the keeper made a good save from as well. And I don't recall them having too many good chances like that. But the football we played to get into those positions, like you think of we were playing the ball around the back. And next minute, Shane Duffy gets the ball to McGoldrick. He drives at the defence. And he creates that chance then for Callum Robbins, who, who takes it by the keeper, gives it to Alan Brown, into Howard. And fortunately, the, um, it was cleared off the line. Shane Duffy as well, he cleared one off the line. Absolutely outstanding performance by him. Probably my man of the match. I'm going to say, yeah, he was my man of the match. Probably rivaled with McGoldrick. Now, players, when they came on, done well as well. Alan Brown done well. Robbie Brady done well. Um... You know, any, everyone who came on to, to do a job did. Like, Alan Brown came on for James McCarthy, who had been playing well. Um, Shane Long didn't have enough time to probably get into the game. 
Alan Brown obviously hitting the post in the second half and did he get one cleared over by the keeper and then we get into penalties and yeah look uh, Alan Brown his penalty was saved and Matt Doherty's hit the bar and ultimately that was enough to, to see the Slovaks through to the final which they'll now face Northern Ireland who beats Bosnia on penalties so it's, 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 a, bit, it's a bit of a crazy night and we're living in a bit of a crazy time but I do think we do need to still give the manager time and don't be turning on him I don't I, look. I know we're not scoring a lot of goals, but Stephen Kenny can't put the ball in the net. He hasn't played an attractive brand of football, which is what we were asked for for so long. So I think the key now is to just try and stick with the team. They're going to be down. The confidence is going to be down for the whole nation. I understand that my confidence, my expectations will be low for the next while because of this now as well. But look, we have we have to be in this all together to try and make it better for the future, and. We have to start kind of buying in. Look, we might not get overnight results, but if he's going to be blooding in youngsters, the likes of your Jason Knights and these types of players, then we're going to have to give that time because they're not going to be straight away ready to jump straight into a full international team, although Malumbi and and uh, other players have. But I think it's something that we need to just now get behind the team more than ever. You know these players are going to be gutted probably as much as they were back when we got beaten by Denmark. So w- we need to get we need to get behind the team and it's disappointing and it's easy for me to sit here and go, Oh yeah, we need to get behind the team and stuff people probably shouting at the screen, oh Kenny out. I don't think it's anything to do with Stephen Kenny. You can hear all the players saying how much they enjoy working for him. He couldn't have done anything here tonight. Look, we just didn't ultimately put the ball in the net. Um and that's how you win football games. As simple as that sounds. That's ultimately what it was. And um, yeah, I had a bad feeling once it went to penalties anyway that, that, that they would win. And they did. So unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbled on this occasion. It's a lottery and penalties. And uh, I thought overall, over the full game, I thought we were the better team in terms of the football we played and how we tried to get get at them. But I don't think this ultimately defines Stephen Kenny's role. But anyway, um, let us know your thoughts in the comments are you happy are you well you're obviously disappointed but but are you seeing the signs that i'm seeing that we're improving as a nation let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like and uh, yeah i'll speak to you all soon thanks for watching